Hi, I'm Matthew Dixon and welcome to this fifth part of Module 1, Programming Basics. In this section, we'll learn what programming is, take a brief look at Visual Studio, write our first program, and take a look at variables and expressions, logic, containers, loops, strings and dictionaries, functions, classes, scope and namespaces, script integration in Unity, and finally debugging. Video 1 – Introduction to Programming What is a program? A computer program is a sequence of instructions written in a programming language to perform a specific task by the computer. Every app, game or utility on a computer is a computer program. Computer programming is the act of creating these programs. Let's start by considering a program for a human written in English. In this case, directions to a shop. If we want to tell someone how to get to this shop from the start position, the instructions may go something like this. Face north. Go forward for 200 meters. Turn to the right. Go forward for 400 meters and find the shop on your left side. Now, an English-speaking person can follow these instructions step by step, one after the other, in order, in order to find the shop from the start position. So let's do that. If we're at the start position, we'll face north, then we'll go forward 200 meters, we'll turn to the right, then we'll go forward another 400 meters, and we'll look to the left to find our shop. With computer programming, these collections of lines of instructions are called source code and they are stored in text files. The computer takes this source code and generates the program from them. In Unity, we will be using the programming language C Sharp. To write something in English, you need to combine several elements, like verbs, nouns, punctuation, following the correct grammar. It's the same with programming. There is a syntax to follow, which we will learn through this and other modules. Unity comes with a lot of pre-made components, but we can't make our own game with just them. The best we could do is make a non-interactive simulation, but not a game. We need to use programming to create specific behaviours to make an actual game. In most cases, you can think of scripts as components that you add to a game object to give them custom behaviours. Let's see how we do this. We'll create our first script by going to our scripts folder, right-clicking in it and choosing Create c -sharp Script. Let's name it. I'll call mine My Script. And now we have our first script. But note, it's just an asset in our project. It's not in the scene, so let's assign it to our cube. There are several ways we can do this. A nice easy way is to just to drag the script from the project view onto the object and let go. If we select the object now, in the inspector, we can see the My Script component is added to our cube. The other ways we can do this are by using the Add Component button and then if we look in our Scripts folder we can see the My Script component. The other way to add it is via the Components menu. If you go to Scripts, there again is our My Script. Great! So we've made our first script and put it onto an object in our game. In the next video, we'll take a look at Visual Studio.